Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Riri and Gigi, and we are back again with another video. I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Today we wanted to share with you guys Gianna's nine month update. So the last video we did with her update, it was three to six months. So this will be six to nine months. And I'd have to say this age stage so far has been my absolute favorite. Hi. I just feel like she's more comfortable as a baby and I'm more comfortable as a mother. Hi. And we're truly getting this synergy thing down packed. So let's get right into the height and weight update. The last doctor's appointment we had, she was 17.9 pounds and 28 inches long. So long and lean has been the theme so far since birth. Next, let's move on to eating and sleeping. So Gianna started solids on Thanksgiving and so far, so good. She loves, loves, loves food, you guys. Um, we're up to feeding her three meals a day regularly and she loves every minute of it. We're doing an awesome mix of baby led weaning finger food and doing homemade parades. So that has been working out just fine. But as much food as she's eating, she's really not nursing any less. I do notice my breasts are a little less empty when she feeds. So I definitely know that the food is working. She's definitely getting full off the food, but she is nursing the same amount of time. So we are doing about seven, eight times in a 24 hour period. Most of those being during the day. Which brings me to the sleeping part. The only time she's not nursing is at night. She's back to sleeping not only eight, nine hour stretches, but most of the time she's sleeping the full 12 hour stretch. I'm going to be doing a video on how to sleep train your baby with no crying it out. So I'll be doing a video for that for you guys because I truly believe like that is probably the number one stressor for mothers, new mothers, is the lack of sleep. And I definitely think she's sleeping better due to just being ready developmentally, but I also think that it had a lot to do with the sleep sack I purchased for her from Nested Bean. It's a weighted sleep sack and I definitely noticed that it helped her help herself to self-soothe. She self-soothes herself a lot faster than without it. So I definitely attribute that to the sleep sack, as well as gradually helping her sleep longer stretches. When Gianna was born, she was an extremely good sleeper. Like I literally had to wake her up out of her sleep to feed her, but we went through a very, very tough uh, sleep regression during the fourth, like the end of the fourth month, fifth month, and a little bit of the six month, we went through a horrible sleep regression where she was waking up maybe two, three, sometimes even four times a night, you guys. It was terrible, uh, but we've worked our way through that. I definitely think that was a lot of her teething was the issue. Sleeping has been going great. I've been getting eight hours of sleep a night, you guys. I feel like a new human It is wonderful. I definitely think the sleep sack had a lot to do with that. Also, comment below if you would like me to do a schedule video to show you guys what our schedule, our daily schedule is like for feeding and sleeping. Let's move on to milestones and development. Six to nine months has been my favorite so far. She loves playing with electronic objects like remote controls, phones, anything that lights up, her baby monitor, anything that lights up or does something, she's there for it. Um, she definitely plays with her own toys a lot more. She loves everything that we got from her for her from Ikea for Christmas. But I definitely would say that she likes household objects and just real objects a lot more. One of her favorite places to play is in the kitchen. She loves kitchen utensils, spoons, spatulas, all that good stuff. She just loves it. Going in the dishwasher. She's very fascinated by just regular daily household things. So I would definitely say to a new mom, like don't go all out buying a whole, whole bunch of toys. Just, I mean, the simplest things can entertain a baby for hours. She's also super social. She literally makes friends wherever we go. She also really loves books. She always has, but now she's paying even more attention to them. I started reading to Gianna while she was in the womb. So it's really, really cool to see just how much she loves books. I'm really loving this stage. She's just understanding a whole lot more. She's just really, really interactive. Also, she has six whole teeth, you guys. Uh, teething 
definitely has been a challenge. Uh, can't really say that any one thing has worked to help teething a lot, except for celery and crunchy treats. Like specific teething toys, they have not helped us a whole lot. So yeah, crunchy treats has been the only thing that worked and just thugging it out. I'm sure we can look forward to another couple of restless nights as those teeth are pushing through. Yeah, that's pretty much it for our update. We would love to hear your comments below if you guys have a little one and what kind of things your little ones are getting into these days. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, you guys. I'd love to have you be a part of our family. And until the next one, bye.